I am Chosen Architect. Alright guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and uh, so far I have enough mana in my mana pool, since we were working on Batana last episode, to go ahead and get working on an Endo Flames. Alright, so uh, just I just drop this in here, <clears throat> and I drop a brown in here. And then I will come over, as you can see, uh, with the Endo Flame. Um, right here. It's just squirting lag. Huh, that's weird. Alright, so you have the, I need the red and the red, but one needs to be a mana petal. And then I need a gray. So I have all that stuff right here. Let's see how many I can make. Uh, I need, can I make a few more? Okay, so I can't do that many. Okay, um, I need to let it just gather up some more. Um, so I'll just need a few of these things. Of course, uh, I need the red mana petals. Okay, so it gets up this, one, of the, all these guys, and then some seeds. And then I have an endo flame. So let me do it. I think I have enough for one more. Oh, I need water. That's right. One more. Let's see, maybe I have enough for... Nope, I don't. Okay, maybe after I get a few of these endoflames going. Put an endoflame here. And one here. Now these endo flames require some coal, so eventually I'll get some charcoal being made over here, which I might might do this episode. Um, I'll start with some charcoal automation. So I'm gonna need some of my item conduits. I'm gonna need an alloy. Let's see, let's do Ender IO alloy smelter. This is what I'm gonna need. So I'm probably gonna need this. Where's, where is it at? Right here. Probably gonna need a cauldron. Right, do I have everything? Yes, I do, okay. So I have, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna need a, let's see, a Jabba barrel. Okay. And do I have just charcoal? No, I don't. So what I'm gonna do, I'm pretty sure this will work. Um, I'm gonna have to run some of this and change up a few things. So this alloy smelter here. <clears throat> okay, so I may not even need this alloy smelter. Uh, didn't think about that. It's making charcoal, okay? So if I put this barrel on top and specify to this that I want to push should start automatically putting charcoal in here just like that and it will also fill this up as well it, this I believe will get the priority so when this goes out I should get another one in here okay and it should fill back up here in a second right there okay so this will stay all running it'll all stay powered except for now I have some charcoal which is perfectly fine because I don't want to use my coal reserves for this. Okay, so what's going to happen is I throw an, a coal down here and you're going to see the texture change and it just sucked up that coal. Okay, throw some more down here. It's going to suck up the coal and you're going to see, see the flames start rolling out of it. So I'm just going to drop some coal down here looks like it's using it for all of it so I'll just throw it down in here it's gonna make some more mana and it see it's pumping it out a lot faster and if I can get my wand over here oh yes it's going a lot faster I may even have enough now yes to make this so now I can make another one Just like so. 
So I'm going to need, let's see, the gray, the brown mystical flower, and some seeds, just like this. Alright, so now I have another endo flame. I can place that right down here. And then I'll just toss a bit more charcoal down in here. It'll automatically start working. It should be generating me quite a bit more mana. Yes, it does seem to be working quite well. It's pumping out quite a bit. Okay. So I can actually work on making me a few more of those. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go gather up some more gray uh, mystical flowers. And uh, I'll be back in just a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm back. I actually found a flower field, <coughs> which is uh, was kind of cool. So I went ahead and got a lot of dye. I uh, figured I'd get, get a lot of this. Um different colors okay all right so I'm gonna put some of this in the uh, a system get rid of it then we'll come back up there and I uh, make some more of those endo flames let's see I need to clear out I also found some diamonds in a chest in a village that I checked out go ahead and toss this stuff back in there don't need this all right I, I need everything else um, actually, let's see. Do I have the, will it show up when I type this? Might not. I'm going to have to type in, uh, the stuff I'm going to need. Okay. So now that we've got that, uh, one of my first things I really want to make, uh, is a mana magnet. I think it's the magnet, uh, which is kind of nice. It lets me suck up items from far distance, which is really, really, really convenient. Uh, I don't have to go chasing items anymore. So this looks like it's doing quite good. It's a little dark out, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sleep for a little bit. And when I come back from sleep, I should be ready to go. The day blooms should be pumping out mana um, out of its buffer, getting it all going. Should be producing a little bit of mana. Not much. We're still on a, on a very low tier of mana production, but we got quite a bit in there for for starters. Um, so what I can start to do is like I was doing before I'll make some more endo flames like we need light gray we're gonna need mystic we're gonna need these two brown uh, we're gonna need some more seeds we're gonna need a bucket of water so I'm gonna have to go back down here and grab me a bucket I know all this running kinda inconvenient but uh, let's do this um, Grab yourself a bucket, and you can hear it up there pumping away. It is, it is working hard. Okay. Also, when you hear it make that that other noise, that louder noise, I believe that's when it's sucking in that charcoal. Um, coal blocks actually last longer. So that's another another way to do it. Okay, so in here, we're going to do two, three, four. Well, let's see if we can get four. And we got four in there. And I don't know how much it uses. Oh, well, we still got quite a bit of mana. I do have to say. All right, so let's make some more. Let's get our Petal Apothecary, get in here. And then seeds. OK, 
Okay. Since we have that infinite charcoal producing over there, we shouldn't have any problems. Okay, so this gave us four more endo flames. So what I can do, I'll place one here, place one here. And here, and one right here. Okay, well you really hear it pumping away now. So I'm just going to drop all of these guys down here. I'll just drop it all. And it should be sucking it in. Yeah, these are working. That's a really pumping away. Okay, so let's check out our Lexica Britannia. Now let's go back and let's see about mana manipulation, mana spreader. So that's what we're using. Let's see. Um, so mana loss, mana burst, okay. Redstone. Let's see, applying a redstone signal to the mana spreader will have it cease to function. Create better control is required. A redstone mana spreader is recommended as it can fire bursts without a target block and works on a redstone pulse. Okay. That's a regular mana spreader. Let's see, mana distributor. It's, it's not what I want. Would it be a mana void? No. Um, okay, so we have mana lens. Okay, uh, lens can be dyed 16 colors of the spectrum combined with mana pearls to create a rainbow lens. Uh, these will create color bursts. That just what changes the colors of the bursts, I guess. Um, take in mind that using a normal mana spreader needs a mana. The, there needs to be a mana receiving block at the end of the burst to fire. By combining two lenses with the slime ball and crafting table, it's possible to unite them into one and keep the effects of both. So that's kind of neat. So you can actually, what's this one? Will decrease, uh, drastically increase the speed at which the mana burst travels, but not only does the beam, okay, faster. Okay, so I guess we're running out of coal. That's what it seems like right now. Running out of charcoal. Alright, um, so I believe I have quite a bit of mana. Yes, quite a bit of mana in this pool. Um, so a few things uh, we need to start making. Uh, let's see. Since I want to make that... Um, let's go back. Miscellaneous baubles and its accessories. I want to make a ring of magnetization. Okay, so we're going to need some mana still. And I don't exactly know. Okay, so zoom times 10. Okay, so it doesn't require that much per. So I'm going to need some iron, which is perfect. And I do believe I'm going to need a little bit of iron. So this requires f four. And that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, nine in total. Okay, so. So I'm going to need nine in total. I'm also going to need some. Uh, 
glass panes. Um, and some gold. Okay. So we we'll be, might be making our first crafted, craftable item today, if I can speak. Um, I'm going to go ahead and gather some more of this charcoal because might as well. I'll just dump that down so our, our unit is producing a lot of mana. I'll just put that all down there and it should start working again. Yes, there it goes. Okay, got a little lag from that for some reason. Huh. Okay, so uh, we're going to make some mana steel. Let me get on it because apparently it's not working. Okay, so we have our mana steel. Nice, and I do believe it did not use that much mana. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the first thing I need to make is this mana lens. Okay, so it's just like this. Makes that. This and, oh, I accidentally made an extra, <laughs> accidentally made an extra uh, mana still when I shouldn't have. Okay. I actually needed an, another piece of iron. Okay. But let's go ahead. Um, takes an iron and a piece of gold. And this creates a mana lens that's magnetized. And then I believe it's just like this. Like a ring. And perfect. Then we have this ring that goes in our bobble slot which you can uh, access by this little bobbles side thing and you place it in the ring slot. Now a cool part about this, so we have our coal here and I stood right there and I gathered all that coal. So if I back away I shouldn't get any of that. I'll take that back. So it does, it does uh, take a lot of it. Okay, so let me get away from here. Okay, so I don't want it taking it. Okay, but uh, a cool thing it does is um, say I break this or anytime I mine an area, which I guess I put my shovel up, but say I use my ax on this tree over here. You'll see I get those nifty particle effects and all the wood comes right to me. No problem, it doesn't have to land on the ground no issues at all which is quite nice okay so let me go ahead and make a bit more of this because we're gonna have to make some uh, tables here in a minute um, so as this keeps pumping we're gonna check out our Lexica Batania again um, and we'll go back okay so we have mana manipulation we have all this stuff going on um, we have that pumping we're going to need to work on some functional flora. Let's see. This stuff uh, is used, it's like other flowers that do things. So this uh, slow growth of crops is always a problem in the fee, uh, to feed the masses. So this flower uh, will act like fertil uh, fertilizer. But see, when we start getting farther, we're going to need uh, this rune. And now to make a rune, we're going to need a runic altar. And to get a runic altar, we're either going to need to use a uh, diamond, a mana diamond, or a mana pearl. Um, and I, I think the diamond is probably going to be better for us, because I really don't want to use our mana pearls. Diamonds are a lot easier to come by, and uh, can I can make them, or not make them, I can gather those a lot quicker. So we're going to go ahead and look at the diamonds. Okay, so I'm going to take one diamond, because I'm going to need to make a runic altar. Okay, so with a runic altar, I just need to drop this diamond in here, and I got a mana diamond. So I'll just make 
this just like it showed in the crafting. Now I have a runic altar. And then I'm going to place the runic altar right here. And it's kind of nice looking. It's a nice wavy. Okay. So let's check this out. Let's uh, let's see what the uh, runic altar is about. Um, I believe it is under basic and mechanics. Yes, runic altar. Okay. To utilize the runic altar, start by placing via either a right click or simply tossing the components to the rune you want to create. Okay. Uh, it says there are 16 different runes that exist. Okay, so we have a rune of water, which is going to require a few crafting items. So some sugar cane and stuff like that. The rune of earth requires a block of coal. A lot of mana still, so we're going to need to make a lot of mana still. And I hear some guys coming. I don't know what that was that blew up. I'm definitely going to need to get some sleep. Also, also I want to show you guys uh, another cool thing. Oh, they didn't drop any. I was going to show you. Uh, you think you can turn? Uh, I think you can turn zombie flesh into leather. So that's a neat way to get some leather. All right, so let's clear out a few things we got here. Definitely going to need this. Um, keep the mana still on us. Keep some of this on us. Get rid of all that. Okay. So we'll do some inventory cleaning. All right. So I'm um, going to sleep again and uh, get us through the night. <clears throat> I think we're doing quite good so far. Let's see. Got some stuff going on up here. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Alright. Oh, let's clear these. Good thing they died. This guy's probably going to bug me. Of course he hits me. Alright. So, now that I got this going, I'm going to actually take, my, take this off. Don't need it right now. Do need these guys feeding this uh, this thing though. Okay, so with these runes, uh, it'll be nice. Okay, so rune of water. Aha! So the further we go, rune of the rune of mana. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna need tiers of runes. And the first few runes look like they're going to be basic. So we're going to need quite a few. We're going to need a few fishing rods. We're going to need a few blocks of coal and a few mushrooms. We're going to need some carpets. So stuff like that. Uh, nether brick. So stuff from the nether. I still need to venture more into the nether. Uh, I've not really done that much in the nether, but uh, okay. Looks like this one makes a rune of mana, which is quite nice. All right, so I think we've done quite a bit more stuff. Um, let's see if I can show you guys real quick uh, how to make uh, make a rune. And I don't know. Let's go back. The runic altar with an empty right hand. Does it need? Does it need okay? So it needs four elements. Uh, the runes are named. May okay. The runes are named after the seven deadly sins. Okay. Attaching a comparator will emit a, a signal strength of one if the altar is accepting mana. So what do I need to make it accept? Will it not just accept mana like that? I'll have to check that out. Okay. I don't think there's anything showing how. 
To utilize this, start by placing it via either a right click or simply tossing the components in the rune. Okay, requires a runic altar. Runes are extremely important components. Okay. Uh, proceed by linking a mana spreader to the altar and right clicking it with a wand of the forest. Okay, so we're going to have to link a mana spreader to it. So this may not be the best place for it. So let me break it. I can actually put it, I believe, right here. And this is a mana spreader. So let's go to bind. I bind this to this, right? Just like that. Okay, so it points to it. So now I have mana spreading into that. I do believe. Actually, put this back in here. And we're going to need another mana spreader. I think that's what's going to have to happen. Hmm. It's kind of curved in. Kind of weird. All right. Well, I think uh, I will we'll go over this more in the next episode. Uh, but for now, I'm going to just put this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put a. I want to have this set up differently. I don't know. I'll still set it right here. I'll figure it out next episode. Um, and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. And if you are, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. So goodbye.